Hello and welcome, Bridge Fundamentals. I'm going to play a couple of hands of Bridge Online, comment about what I'm doing strictly at the fundamental level. Um, I'm just an amateur hack here at this, but, um, you know, hopefully if you're just learning or just trying to get a little better understanding about what's going on, this may be helpful for you. Uh, if you're at that level, I definitely read, definitely recommend reading this book. Uh, Bridge for Dummies starts out really simple, how to deal four hands, but by the time you're done, it's covered the fundamentals very well. I'll be using SACI or American Standard Yellow Card set of conventions slash system. Definitely want to learn your way through this. And my very, very quick bridge lesson points ranges. So uh, how many points are, is your bidding telling your partner? How, what is your bidding telling your partner about how many points you have? What is your partner's bidding telling you about how many points they have? Add them together, adjust for shape if you have enough for game, bid it, otherwise get in there and compete. Now let me jump into a table here. So the Indian players typically play uh, Sacy, like it says here. This has one no trump, 15 to 17, 15 to 18. So we're going to pass on that, right? Uh, 15 to 17 is Sacy. Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, Canada. So we have a new table waiting for some an east-west pair. And I'm, I'll stay and try to bid this hand. I've got a whopper here. Uh, this is 12 and 6 is 18 high card points. So this is one point too many for no trump open. So we will not bid one no trump to open, even though this is a very balanced hand, stoppers and all the suits and all that kind of thing. Let's let's see if partner opens. <laughs> that would be something, right? Let's see if partner bids. So partner passes. So I will be bidding one diamond or double. West has bailed. And we're waiting for a new player at West. Let's see if we don't get one soon here. All right, we have a new partner, and I will bid one diamond to open. Okay, well, we had somebody come and leave. Thank you for that. Always a joy that you bid and leave your troubles to the next person. Yay. All right, one spade. So, two no trump is a jump shift showing 18 or 19 points. So, 18 or 19 points to no trump jump shift. So, I jumped a level. I could have bid one no trump, but I bid two, and I shifted to a new suit. All right. And here we have three hearts. Nice. And I'm going to go ahead and say three no trump. So I've got spade, I've got clubs and diamonds. Alrighty. So one, two, three tricks, four, five, six tricks. I need to manufacture three tricks. Looks spades looks very promising. I'm going to leave an entry to dummy. I'm gonna leave that queen up there. Alright, I'm gonna throw this nine and try to finesse the queen. That did not work. Um, which way do I want to go now? Uh, I maybe want to get to those hearts. So again, I'm going to come up here, take all these tricks. So what do we have going on down here? Not much, really, right? Uh, well, we got 
six, seven, well, and that takes that. Not happy about it. We're going to hope there's a heart left, which I know there's not. Down one. All right. So I pushed it. Partners it in their range. Age 18 or 19. 18 and 7 is 25. Yeah. Double dummy says I should have made it. But I don't see what I did wrong, so we will come back to that. And somebody else made it. A couple other people didn't. So there was a f finesse I missed. Probably, hmm, maybe should have set up those hearts a little sooner. I don't think so. I don't know. Let me see. So, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and um, 4 diamonds and 4 hearts. Yeah, no, trump no trumps can be tough to play. Oh, well. I'll come back and um, show you how to... I'll show you after I play a couple of hands. I'm at, what, 1, 2... I've, after, I show, after I play a couple of hands, I'll come back and show you how to use bridge base to analyze how you could have made that hand. So, we'll see. Um, one diamond, one spade, one no trump. So, yeah, I mean, I've got a minimal hand here. Um, one no trump is fine. It does sort of imply that south has a stopper for that spade, all right? But not necessarily. Two clubs, two diamonds. Three clubs, so now partner knows I've got 12 points, at least 12 to 15 point range, right? Because I opened and, I, and I've been very quiet and passed. So partner knows I'm at the minimum here. Um, hmm. I should think partners only got three diamonds, otherwise they would have supported my diamonds with four of them right out of the box. I'm going to pass. Let partner decide if they want to go to three diamonds or not. So it's basically saying, partner, well, you tell me. I mean, I am minimal. You know what I have. I am minimal. You want to go to three diamonds? You want us to go to three diamonds? Now, we're favorable, unfa Vulnerable, unfavorable, meaning we're vulnerable and they're not. So if they double us, then we go down lots of points. And if they try to steal the bid and go down, it doesn't cost them that dearly. So partner puts us to three diamonds. Not bad. Partner should have ten, ten points or more. Put us in three diamonds, hopefully four diamonds. Maybe even more. Let's have a look. It shouldn't be at four diamonds. There we go. So, uh, but a little shy on the points there. Seven, eight, nine total points. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take that. We're going to start working on those Trump. Let's get a lot of those Trump out of the way. There's going to be lots of card play here. Fairly balanced hands. Um, okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and do another one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These last two diamonds are good. They're going to hold them out of my hand. And... Let's see if we can set up some hearts here. So maybe we can get that queen of hearts to come out. So I've got three, four, five, six, seven. 
I need two more tricks somewhere. So there's the queen. And there's a heart here. Um, we'll go ahead and try to finesse it. The queen. No such luck. Um, yeah, got to lose it. And I suspect we're going to lose the jack, too. Four, six, we're already down two. Down three. Yeah, ugly stuff. Should have taken that last jack. I had no reason not to take that last jack because I'm throwing away a good ace there, right? So just poor play right there. Here I'm, I'm thinking, well, maybe, but, you know, now I'm throwing away the ace. I'm thinking maybe I can beat the king of clubs. See, the thing is, right, I'm trying hard to make more than is there and instead of accepting sort of so instead of accepting that I'm going down and by trying to make more than is there I'm losing a trick so this probably shows down two right even down one uh, really only even down one right so that's what that says over there so instead I went down three so there's a definite lesson there and the definite lesson there is if you know always play your hand to the best that you can even if you know you're going down don't get desperate so what do we got here i've got nine high card points um i can go we can go push a little right why not and we're favorable vulnerable we're vulnerable favorable All right, meaning if they go down, they lose more than if we go down. So we'll give it a go. And again, that's a two-heart overcall. So that does not show opening points, right? That could show as little as uh, 18, 6, 18 to 16 right here. Yeah, so always, always remember what an overcall. That's an overcall is not showing opening points. Took me... Would you believe a couple of years to sort of learn that lesson? And, um, yeah. It's an easy one to think, oh, your partner opened. So I should go ahead and treat it as an opening hand. My partner didn't open. Technically, partner overcalled. So queen of hearts led should indicate that partner has the queen of hearts. All right, so leading from a king-queen. We'll keep that in mind if we ever get the lead back. We can figure partner's got the hearts covered. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. All right, good. The ace is out, so that effect effectively makes my queen of spades good. All right, because now there's no way to finesse that queen of spades. Partner has dropped off the deep end. Nope. Okay, so take the king and set up my queen for real. There's that jack. There's the king. That's eight. But I don't remember as if the ace of clubs was played. Uh, oh boy. Nope, it's been finessed the whole time, right? I didn't think so. All right. All right, come on, partner. It's too slow. And again, 
and playing slow means not making stupid mistakes. And I'm not going to take that. Try to take that. Okay, so here's that. I'm going to take the ace. Alright, take the 10 off the board. And one other trick. So that's 11. So I guess there's 12, 13 over there. And there's the jack. 10 queen. Uh, I didn't need to do that. I'm I'm glad partner has the nine, not east, but the east is out at this point anyway. So there we go. So, oh, one more diamond. And one more heart. And one more spade. Well, they made their game. They made their contract. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's play one more. And I've got 10, 14. 15 high card points, right? So, and a balanced hand. Well, 15 high card points in a balanced hand. Slams right there in the middle of... Uh, oh, my goodness. What is all this? Uh, no Trump. One no Trump opening bid. And we come around to partner. Two no trump. So this is an invite. Two no trump says partner's got about eight points. Uh, if I have 17 points, if I have 17 points, eight plus 17 would be the 25 we need. Uh, but I do not. I've got 15 points, so I'm going to pass. So this is invite declined. Partner's got nine. Okay. Uh, we've got two no trump to make. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now, we in no, in no trump here, we don't want to throw this ace right away. All right. East is throwing. Yeah. East is saying they've got four. Four diamonds. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more diamond over there. And uh, the king and the queen are still out. So jack, ten, little, little. I don't know. I'm confused. Eight, nine, ten, three more out there. King, queen, and little. Well, so he should be doing some strange things or something. Let's see if this ace comes out. Nope. So we'll take that. Now, we're over here. So I want to set these things up, but then I also want to finesse these spades. So I'm going to try finessing the spade first. And that worked. And, yeah, we'll get back to those clubs, won't we? All right, ten's good. Now remember, the ace of hearts is still out there. Let's not forget that. And, so the ten is good, the ace is good, one of those hearts is good. There's eight. We will lose one club. Okay. And I kind of like it being over here in the east. It feels like east has the stronger hand. So now those two clubs, that's 12 and 13. Six. Ooh, seven, but we need one more. Well, we're going to have to do this and take our luck with those hearts. All right. Now, there should be, there's the diamond. And is that king's, king's over there? 
So East went and Jack ten little. Okay. And in fact, we make three. All right. So finally, we got to play one. Yay. And we made three, but we only bid two. But we did do we bid what we were supposed to bid. All right. Thanks. Good to go. Uh, let's have a look at this hand here. So for for event so so for using BBO as a learning tool, all right, this is a great way to do it. All right here I went down one, but double dummy. So what did I do? Hide double dummy, show double dummy. Let's double so in a perfect world the computer thinks I should be able to make that with perfect information. Meaning if I knew what all the cards were and where they were, I should be able to make it. So Maybe, maybe not. Let's just have a look. So let's export this. Uh, we do the hand viewer link. It gives us a URL to click on, which opens a new window. I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. And uh, I'm going to move this over to here. All right. And this out of the way. Okay, so GIB stands for somebody's intelligent bridge or something. I don't know what. And it still says we should make it. So next. And right now then. Uh, so this is playing. So then dummy comes down. And I played low. GIB says it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. GIB says, yeah, just take that trick. All right. Now GIB still says I'm clicking it every time. I have to click it every time. So, so I won the trick. It's my lead. GIB says it doesn't matter what I lead. I should be able to make it. Uh, I start working on the spades. And GIB says fine. The five is fine. Now I won that trick again. GIB says I'm still should still be able to make it. So nine, eight. GIB says I've got to take this trick. And I was trying to finesse the queen. And that's what happened. I did not finesse the queen. I tried to finesse the queen. The finesse failed. And there you go. And now GIB says as long as they lead not a low heart, I... Uh, And then I'm going down one. That's what it says. So let's go back on that previous. So GIB says if they lead low heart, I can still make it. But if they lead a three of clubs, which they did, I'm going down one. And what's happening here is this. We're setting up those clubs. All right. And now, part of, now it says no matter what I do, I'm either going down one or down two. You know, unless they mess up or something. So that's this GIB, this, this uh, hand viewer link in this GIB shows you what uh, should have happened or what could have happened. And I think, I, think I've, I can, quote, forgive myself for that. You know, uh, it was pretty hard to know there was a doubleton queen of spades over here. So, so it goes. Uh, well, Put that back, close that, uh, get those ads out of here, get my face back on the screen. Yeah, that's it, I think, pretty much. Let's see if there's anything else worth learning, looking at here. I don't think so. And so South went, and uh, I was not at this table. Three no trump down one. That was our first hand. Um, three diamonds down three. So let's look at this a little better. I played this terribly, right? Let's look at this one too. All right, let's do this all this nonsense again. All right. So GIB says I could go down one or two depending on what they lead. Uh, led the, so I should be going down one. So GIB says down one, doesn't matter what I do. I took it. And in dummy, 
and GIB says uh, club or a heart and I let a diamond so why did I lead a diamond um, well let's let's go back all right so where am I I've got to make three diamonds I'm in three diamonds okay and I'm wanting to draw a trump and well I should know I'm going down I've got one loser two losers three losers four losers five losers so that's down one right so what do I have to protect against I, I want to protect against losing more hearts right I've got really actually two losers and hearts here I think that's the problem so let's think about this right so if we look at the hand and say how do we you know okay how many losers do we have we have one spade loser right we have two heart losers it should make it right one diamond loser that's four <coughs> and one uh, club loser but only if I trump the ten of clubs and really, what about this extra heart here? All right, so I've got this loser in uh, five of hearts and ten of clubs I've got to do something about because they're not going to win, it doesn't look like. Well, yeah, no, because the king and the queen are going to take the jack and the ten. So there, there it's not a matter of just looking at my hand and saying what losers do I have it's a matter of looking at my hand and and recognizing that really I've got more losers than just count here right I've got to trump some of these things that's what I'm saying here right so I could have three hearts losers but I've got a trump one I could have two clubs losers but I've got a trump one so let's let's next 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 all right, so now what do I do? All right, let's play. And we're not going to worry about the club, the spade loser. That's just straight up lost. All right. But we're going to... Ooh, look at there. That got lucky. We're going to... Hmm... All right. Um, yeah. So one heart winner, one heart loser. Now, what would you return back? All right. That's what you would do. Okay. And remember, the queen fell. So you take that trick. All right, East West now has three. Where am I with GIB? GIB says I'm still only down one. All right, so they won this trick. What do they do now? I would think try to set up this club, right? And GIB says still down one. Doesn't matter what I play. Okay, let's take that. All right, well, you can do this, and then I can do that. Yeah. Okay, GIB says, okay, I'm still down one. All right, now I can start drawing out diamonds. Start drawing out Trump. And there's that. Queen comes out. There's five. There's my down one. They won that trick. Um, he knows that queen is good. I lose the queen there. He... No, he's not going to do that. Um, throws away a heart. Why not? And there we go. Um... 
I have got to all right, take this club loser. Well, actually, that's not even a club loser. So it doesn't matter what I do, but I'm going to say trumpet. Well, I guess at that point, I knew it was good. So, yeah, let's let's not let's play this more intelligently. Let's hold on to that queen. Let's throw this queen. We did that already, right? Uh, we threw the heart. We took it with the queen. Oh, here we go. Three, four, right? And now I can crisscross. Uh, cross rough the rest of these tricks, right? So the nine goes on a diamond, and the ten goes on a diamond. And it doesn't matter, that six isn't any good. So the rest of the tricks are mine, down one. So, yeah. This is not, that was a little more than fundamental, but that's how you learn, right? Yeah, some serious hand analysis there. Anyway, hope that helps. Uh, probably uh, more than you want in the brain there. <laughs> but just counting your losers, I think, is the lesson there is just counting your losers isn't always going to tell you what to do. All right, it can be a little more complicated than that. Let's let's see if there was anything else while we're here. Might as well. Uh, so that was a poorly played, and but uh, just not just didn't analyze my hand properly at the beginning. So that's definitely that's definitely where bridge gets advanced, right? Where bridge gets good. Uh, three no trump. Or three spades, excuse me, bit of maid, nice for the opponents. And on mine, uh, let's refresh that. So they got a bit more imps. A couple people did take that, that three no trump and uh, made it. A lot of people passed that invitation as well, like me. So fundamentals were just, yeah, we're, we're not going to take it. You can see it wasn't necessarily an easy hand to play either. All right. So, yeah, refresh, where am I, my table, um, yeah, so double dummy says it should make three, uh, no trump, but, mm. and here's the thing, here's, the, I guess, for no trump, in terms of a two no trump invite, um, partner's got nine points, I've got at least 15, so we're 24, points between us, right? So if you read Bridge for Dummies, they'll tell you if you've got nine points, you pretty much, you know, you flip a coin, you know, well, because you can't flip a coin at the bridge table, but it's 50-50. Maybe you want to go ahead and push them up to uh, three no trump. Maybe you don't. What are the kind of things you consider? Uh, what's a vulnerable situation? Well, neither vulnerable, so going down one's not going to be too terribly bad. Um, what's your hand look like with nine points, right? Is it low cards? You, you do have the ace and king and the queen. Those are pretty good cards, right? So, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good indication there. The king and the queen is very powerful because you know you can use it to drive out the ace. The ace is very, the ace of spades is very powerful. Uh, you know you can use it yeah, to, to stop spades, which is good, right? And um, so that worked out pretty well. And you've got one, two, three, four, five clubs, you know, and two entries, right? That ace of spades and one of the hearts. So uh, that uh, turned out to be we able to get that last club by getting an entry with the heart, if I remember the way that was played. So, yeah, that that's that's a, a hand where you say I've got nine, you know, um, go ahead and go to three no trump over one no trump. You know, partner's got to play it anyway, so good luck to them, <laughs> you know. But I appreciate the invite. Uh, from partner is very conservative, very fundamental thing to do. Now, technically, like I said, the invite is only with eight points. But 
Uh, and so nine, you decide whether you want to invite or you want to go for it in this situation. He decided to invite. Um, it turns out he might have should have gone for it, but, you know, whatever. It just went the way it went. Mind you, we didn't lose anything significantly, right? So it was that close, you know. And the two diamonds probably worried him a bit, right? Not having three diamonds down there or something. Um, yeah, you know, right? Had, having minus a spade and an extra diamond made it made a sway to him. Might just be habit for him, but we didn't lose a lot. And the people that did get the three no trump did gain a lot. So yeah, it's what it is. On my side, might I have accepted the invitation? Well, I mean, for me, the rule is 15, no. So 8, 10, right? 15 high card points, perfectly balanced. Uh, these are one of the harder hands to play. I'm not accepting the invitation on 15, you know, and this per only 15 points. Yeah, you know, maybe 16, definitely on 17. And that's the way that goes. All right. Anyway, hope this helps. Uh, take care. Enjoy. And uh, see you on, See you around. Bye-bye now.